Good morning, everybody. It's day after race day over here, and I'm starting out uh, breakfast at 8.40 a.m. <laughs> this is three scrambled eggs, a lot of salt, a little pepper, a little bit of chop house butter seasoning, heavy whipping cream, and shredded cheese. And they're kind of loosely runny, which is how I like them. And this is breakfast, because I need to wake up. I sort of took a big sleep in today, and I'm getting a slow start. All right, Michael's been talking about Seven Brew Coffee for a few days now, so we're gonna- We just been busy. We've we been busy. Not been doing it. I need some caffeine to help me wake up today. But I, I will say, um, my left knee is a little sore today. My left calf is a little sore, and I'm super happy that um, Dr. Polly has her practice open today because can't wait to go get a treatment, but that'll be later this afternoon. Yeah. Um, but my right ankle, knee, hip, everything, does not hurt and my left hip my my left hip and my left foot don't hurt it's just my left knee <laughs> so weird that left knee but um other than that i feel great don't feel great because of how we ate yesterday but i know it takes about one day to really bounce back from something like that <laughs> how do you feel i feel fine um just a, i guess just a little bloated not overly so doesn't feel like i ate all of that that i ate yesterday um, activity level was same today for me, but I think I feel like you in, in that I'm ready to get started back on the, the regular food. So it was nice to have the one day, but um, that's what makes today special is, you know, the length between the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I had my three scrambled eggs for breakfast, but I was just <clears throat> still trying to wake up. I didn't feel like talking about them much. Um, they were really, really good though. And I'm going to have my shake, uh, my regular shake, when we get back. Yeah. And, yeah. All right. So, we will. I'm going to take you along for me recovering from walking the 13 miles. Uh, today's going to be kind of busy. I have a hair appointment to do my hair at 10 o'clock. And then the chiropractor is at 3.45. And, um, and maybe taxes in between. Yeah, I need to do my taxes <laughs> today, <laughs> yeah. So... <clears throat> There you go. Happy Monday, February 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. Oh yeah. Hey, what's this? Ooh, they asked if we wanted a pup cup or a milk bone or both. So I'm gonna give her a milk bone. You want this? You want this? You can have it. <laughs> Does she not want it? I think she wants it. <laughs> All right, it's about 2.30 and uh, I have on shorts and a t-shirt, but didn't want to let a day go by without getting some sunshine. Um, I think the temperature is about 67 degrees last time I checked, but it's uh, it's a sunny 67, it but is. just a kind of a chilly 67. It says it feels like 66. Yeah, feels like 66. <laughs> 23 mile visibility. That's how clear the skies are right now. <laughs> Anyway, I wasn't feeling, I, I'm, I'm on a little bit of limited time here, so I didn't want to go putting on a bathing suit and full sunscreen, so I'm just going to wear a t-shirt and shorts and uh, get just a little bit of sun. Gotta get that vitamin D. A little bit of vitamin D. chiropractor these are the new uh, sunglasses I was talking about mm -hmm. in my vlog 
rainbow tie-dye. Um, I finally donated my gooders today. Uh, but yeah, I feel so much better. She helped a lot with that left leg pain that I was having and you with some of the Me? aches and pains yeah, you've been having. Yeah, um, my upper back has been tight with some of the new workouts I've been doing, but we got that worked out. Um, she put some compression, I don't know, they weren't stockings. Um, they're like boots. SCDs. Yeah, they're uh, compression boots. Yeah, on Jules and, and on, on me. So That's that so felt good. nice. Um, I was yawning there because after you get finished, I feel like I could fall asleep. That's how oh, calm you just said and the word yawn. Rela <laughs> and relaxed that I feel. That and feel I'm great. probably a little bit hungry, ready for some dinner. My little three egg, it's, uh, it's just after five o'clock now. My little three egg breakfast has tied me over. I could... I could probably just not eat at all, but um, I, I I need to. So I got some hamburgers today at the grocery store, which I'm gonna make, and yep. you are gonna. I got some ground chicken. I didn't even know you yes, could buy ground chicken. And um, I'm gonna make the way that we make our red meat taco meat. I'm gonna make it the same way, but with the chicken, and um, probably throw in some sausages as a side, and some cheese, and yeah. We'll see what, what delicious. Happens. It does. It's nice to be back on the carnivore wagon. Yeah, that's true. It mm -hmm. does. All right, we're headed home. We'll show you what we eat. Yeah. All right, here it is. This is half a pound of burgers that are barely cooked. I like my meat. My like, I like my red meat undercooked. Six little pizza squares. There's six here total. Um, that are made from shredded cheese, the taco blend. And just in case you wonder what Michael's eating, he has six pieces also with pepperoni, 12 sausages, and quite a few scrambled uh, eggs. Five. Five, five. five eggs, <laughs> half a pound of sausage, yep. six pizzas, some of the queso. And our favorite Gordo's yeah. cheese dip. Homemade booch for both of us yeah. tonight, right? We've got to get over there to Big Dogs, yeah. get our uh, growler for the week. <clears throat> We're finishing the night this way. I'm feeling like a million bucks. How about Are you? Are you? Now I feel good after the chiropractor. Um, the compression boots felt oh, yeah. really nice. My legs feel great. No, I feel good. It's um, almost 7.30. And, um, I feel like I look like I'm in the same shirt every single night because when I drink... <laughs> When I drink kombucha is when I do my skincare routine. Um, it just so while I'm drinking it, it has time to soak in before it might rub off on anything. But I actually have this top. Um, in three different colors. Well, it's dark and blue, really black. dark blue, yeah. and black. <laughs> and it looks like I'm wearing the same shirt every single night, but I'm actually not. I just no. rotate through um, that sh uh, same shirt, different colors. <laughs> different shirt, same shirt, different shirt, different colors. Um, but it always looks like the same shirt on camera. <laughs> anyway, kombucha time is skincare time. It's really good. I don't know if you've tried yours, but I think this is when we use the grape juice. I can really taste the grape. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, that tastes like communion juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Um, I think that's... Is that it for us this evening? We have started watching a show... Mm -hmm. Stars? It's on the stars, yeah, stars. through our Amazon. It's not a new show. We actually watched it in 2021. Um... I, yeah. like I said last night, I have been into English history for years and years, years and years, but Michael only recently started what, started reading. Yeah, outside um, of knowing about Henry VIII, I, I didn't really know a whole so lot. So, even though he watched this show with me, back during quarantine, actually, I think, um, he watched it with me. He didn't, you know, it was, didn't, wasn't that special to him. Just and, for entertainment, yeah, so I didn't know. now that you're reading the book, it's called The White Queen. Yeah. It's based on a Philippa Gregory novel, and I never, ever read historical fiction i only read historical nonfiction, but i thought this show was a really pretty just visually aesthetically pleasing reenactment yeah it, it is and, and i told jules we, i actually read after watching the episode that we finished on last night the part in the dan jones book that that happened so that's kind of neat to see that but now really kind of coming full circle with who people are and what's going to end up happening and how one person got in one place which is really confusing if you don't read all the backstory um, of what historically happened. So yeah, anyway, 
we decided to give this a second watch now that I know a little more about um, what's going on. So I'm always been, um, happy to watch it again. Yeah, I have never read a Philippa Gregory book. Um, I my favorite authors are Allison Weir, probably my absolute favorite author. I've only read one Dan Jones book, but I love it. If I can call him a favorite, I will. And I like um, Antonio Fraser also. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. When it when it comes to English history, I mm-hmm. really like their books. But I've never read any Philippa Gregory. I have her right here. Can you see her? I, I think everybody's had a day. She's snoring. <laughs> She's already <laughs> sleeping. All right. This was my recovery day. How was it? You feel Fun? good? I feel great. Yeah. I don't awesome. know when we'll be back to vlog again. We don't really have anything coming up that I feel like needs vlogging. Yeah. We're just sort of living our daily, regular lives. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't really feel the need to vlog it unless you are feeling like That's it. That's entirely up to you. Yeah. We don't we'll have see. anything scheduled I'm about for ready that to start putting out content besides vlogs, but okay. I'm not. I don't know exactly what right now I want that to be. So. Well, okay. But we will continue to see you guys here and there. Um, Just play it by ear. Yeah. I'm going to work Sounds on putting to together today's little movie, and we'll see you soon. All right. Have a good night, guys. Happy carnivore. Not uh, well. Happy happy life. <laughs> <laughs> happy happy <lifestyle>. Monday. <laughs> happy Monday. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Or another day soon. <laughs> Bye.